Hello, this is Malorian, and now this will be my fourth and last game of the Onslaught Tournament, and it's going to be 2,000 points of my Orcs against some Dwarves again. Alright, so coming off my last game, I was in a good mood, uh, both because it was a, a really fun game, and second of all, because all of a sudden I was starting to do well again. And looking around at some of the other players, even the ones that are doing well, they've had some a few mix of uh, a bad games in there, so maybe if I did really well this game, I could might you know, place fairly high. So I was feeling pretty good about that. Uh, looking at this one here, what we're really trying to do, this is just the whole Dawn Attack one with the random placement. Uh, for the most part, both of us had everything at the start and the center, except he had one grudge store on the far side, so it was pretty straightforward anyway. And for me, I picked my second objective to be just to wipe him out because I think this is a fairly good matchup. And of course, if I am going to try and, and win... Uh, best general, I need to get as many points as possible. So, uh, there you go, we're really going to gun for it. Uh, looking over here at what he has, he has a flaming cannon, uh, he has some iron breakers, and then there is a dwarf lord, uh, he has an organ gun, then he has some dwarf warriors that have great weapons, a regular cannon, uh, then he has his long beards with shields, and in there he has his BSB, and then on the far right he has his grudge thrower. And really what's going to happen here is I'm just going to rush up. I'm going to have my trolls in the front so I can be threatening his war machines. And then really whatever touches is that middle unit of warriors with the great weapons should just delete them. Uh, I'm very sure that my black orcs can be dealing with the long beards. And then really my only worry about them is that they can get to the grudge thrower in time. And then on the left, I, I really would rather have had something else going up against his iron breakers. But uh, unfortunately, I had to deploy first, and then he deployed second. But if nothing else, they can hold them up. Once my savages are done with the second, uh, with the, the middle unit, then they can swing around and deal with the dwarf lord. So that should be it. So I get first turn, start with some animosity trouble. I got my uh, BSB unit that failed animosity and they're stuck back there. Otherwise, everything is starting to rush up. Uh, this little sphinx in the center is causing me a little bit of grief, but nothing too serious. And then I go for foot of Gork, roll low, and he stops it. His turn one, he really doesn't do any movement. I mean, it's dwarves. Uh, he does some shooting into me, of course, but he has some pretty bad luck where thing was just going short or, or just scattering off. He killed a few of my squigs, but that's pretty much it. My turn to, and this was horrible. <laughs> uh, not only did I fail the stupidity on the trail on the right, but my savages picked a fight with my BSB unit. So both of them are doing nothing, and not only does that mean that my savages won't be in uh, a spot to be going in next turn, but I'm also going to have no magic. So that really sucked. Uh, the trolls failing stupidity on the right meant that my black orcs were going to be farther back because they had to kind of wheel to one side and then wheel back. So they're out of position now. And uh, yeah. His turn two, he kills the troll on the right. His organ gun blows up, so that's a little bit of help to me. Uh, you can see his units have just wheeled a little bit to try and get ready to take the charge. And he has more shooting that goes into my squigs on the left. And he kills quite a bit more, so they're getting pretty weakened. And the fact that they're up there all by themselves is, is pretty bad. But the way I see this is that they actually can charge over and go after his central unit. So if I can get in there and overrun and then have my savages go after his uh, iron breakers, this could actually still work out. But it doesn't. <laughs> uh, so basically, they try to charge those dwarves with the great weapons. They failed the charge. My troll tried going into the cannon. Failed the charge. Uh, my other two units really just moved up. The black orcs and the BSB. But of course, the BSB unit is so far back now. And then I use Hand of Gork. And I really wanted to try and be up in front of my squid curd. Just because they're so reduced that I kind of need to protect them. But there just really wasn't any room that wouldn't open up my flank to his Dwarf Lord. So I put them over on this far side. Uh, knowing that even though my Black Orcs are ready to go in. Hopefully now he's going to charge into me. And I can basically kill him on his turn. And then just keep on going from there. 
So his turn three, he does it. He's charging in with both these units there on the right, which I think is fantastic. Uh, I, I popped my potion of strength, so if he wants to come at me with his BSB with a one plus save, I mean, he's just going to be smashed. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, of course, his dwarf lord goes into my squigs on the left, and uh, I mean, I'm not really ready for that, but hopefully I can be killing enough so I can be holding in place. And yeah, it really didn't go the way as planned. So the fight on the left was okay. I killed some of him. He killed some of me. You know, it's basically what I had hoped for. Uh, otherwise, you could see he'd moved his uh, cannon back just to get out of the way. But man, in that main fight, this was just a kick in the teeth. Uh, in the end, you know, he doesn't declare a challenge with his BSB because of how I could try and kill him. And so really, I'm just looking just to rack up the combat res. And so... I'm just throwing everything into his dwarves with the great weapons. So I got my orc war boss with eight, eight strength, nine attacks. I got all the savages, seven of them across, just slamming into these guys. And look at that. I killed six. Six. <laughs> it was just uh, so disappointing. Uh, he attacks back. He wins. I break. He catches me. He's into my troll. And it's, I mean, my Black Orcs can now come in, but yeah. So then with this, with my turn four, when I, I came into here, I really needed to beat them and break them because I knew that these great weapons on the left would be going through. So I opted to go with the two-handed weapons, just really trying to maximize the attacks. And uh, yeah, it didn't work. I, I beat him by three or four. He held... And his other guys killed my troll, and they're all ready for a flank. His turn four, these guys come into my flank of the Black Orcs, beat them, break them, and yeah, they're all done. And the Squig Herd also was defeated and exploded this turn as well. And I'm tabled. So, victory to the Dwarves, and this game just made me grumpy, because I'd already had two really one-sided games that really weren't really satisfying and then I had this one and it was just you know just animosity problems and stupidity problems and then just extremely bad dice rolling and it, it really was unfortunate because the guy I was playing I could tell was a really nice guy right and unfortunately there was just nothing I could really do about it. The game was just a flop. And so I especially felt bad because, of course, near the end, you're supposed to be filling in sportsmanship scores. And they got this whole range of things you can be picking. And unfortunately, some of them go pretty overboard. And it's like, it was a great game. Let's be friends and all this. And, of course, I, I mean, I couldn't really do that stuff. All I could say is, good game? And even then, it was just... I mean, I, could, I can say that because even though it wasn't a good game, at least it's a thing where it was, he was a nice guy. So, I don't know. It was just one of these games. I lost. Uh, obviously, now I have no chance of being anywhere in the runnings with uh, two Massacre wins, two Massacre losses. But uh, hang on. I'm going to have an overview for the tournament coming up.